Florida. I'm Ed Cohen with Jay Williams. I know you're relaxed. It's now time to work. 305, my city, my city. This is one of my favorite stops on the road, Ed, and I'm sure the same applies to the visiting players. No more time on the beach. It's time to hoop it up here in South Florida. The Pacers begin the game with the basketball. Jay, no question, the Pacers were the surprise of the NBA last year. What are your expectations for them now? Top four seed in the Eastern Conference. That's what they have to be. And I think for Kevin Pritchard and Nate McMillan, the post-George era has begun far better than expected. And it all starts with Victor Oladipo. Last year, he was the guy, but this year, he needs to become the man. Richardson, that's out. Last touch by Josh Richardson. Indiana with the basketball. Oladipo to Young. Nothing going here on that drive. Thaddeus Young, good start. He's made his first shot. Ed, did you see what this pass just did? Now it encourages his teammates to move with more sense of urgency because they understand the next time down the court, they might be on the receiving end of that pass. To Richardson with a draw finishing with finesse old school equals high percentage into the front court comes Collison two-point advantage for three his first effort off the mark Dragic into the front court he'll run the offense to Whiteside. Hassan Whiteside. Two for two. That's what you want. You know what I like about this pass play? Instead of putting his head down and forcing the action, he patiently waited for the play to develop. Oladipo. To Young. Collison. Smothering D. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Richardson to Dragic. Beyond the arc for three. Shot off the mark. Good defense. Pacers with the possession to Collison. Short jumper off the mark. Jay LeBron James has been gone, have going. They're winning with what might be considered role players and other teams. And a lot of credit of that has to go to East Bo. Think about what he's lost. Five years ago, the best player on the planet, LeBron James. Then you lose Dwayne Wade due to some management issues, overpayment. Then you lose Chris Bosh due to health issues. And for him to have this team in the playoff hunt, says everything you need to know about a great coach. Oladipo into the front court. Looking to make something happen to Collison. Screen coming. Collison to Oladipo. The Pacers with four to shoot. Has a chance. Oladipo, not that time. Your contest was great because of your proximity to the player. You forced his follow through to be cut short, which made him short arm the shot. Dwayne Wade to Richardson. Gets it in the left corner. Hand in his face. Still hits. You don't see that very often. Again, Ed, if you made it to this level, you're capable of doing things that normal humans can never do. Even if you're not known for it.
both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Substitutions, Miami. Oladipo. He'd have the basketball. Here comes the screen. Knock loose. Pacers have it. Hold the depot into the front court. Just under a minute to go in what's been a hotly contested first quarter. Curling inside. Adebayo the rebound. Yes, and a foul. Hell of a chance at a three-point play. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Dion Waiters at the line for a chance at a three-point play. A career 70% free throw shooter. Free throw good to finish off the three-point play. The lead is up to five. It's Indiana basketball. Oladipo. Probing the defense. To Oladipo. Inside, he scores. There you go, finally. Shoot your shot. Dragic with the basketball. Shot clock turned off as they get a chance to build their lead. Goran Dragic missed his first. That one goes. The defense needs to be in more of a stance and react better. A player with that kind of NBA talent level will get to the rim every time with moves like that. Trying to cash in. The first quarter's complete. The Heat with the lead. One quarter down, long way to playing at this level. It just continues to reaffirm that I was excited to watch both of these teams play this entire week. It's been a solid game so far, but this has a chance to be a great one down the stretch. To Waiters. Fine to shoot. To Waiters. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Waiters forced that one off the mark on the three. Deep two there, won't go. Jay, sometimes it's not just the Heat that does opponents in in Miami. I've been a victim to this multiple times when we have played the Heat, and I think other franchises from cold cities have been the same. There's a reason why the Miami Heat have such an advantage down here on South Beach. You catch them on an off night, it's rare that teams, opposing teams, are ready to play. Doesn't get the bounce. We call some of these players practice players. You know the guys that make five out of ten shots in practice, but then all of a sudden they're not gamers because then they're making one of ten. That's exactly what you want him to do. You want him to take those kind of shots. Fires the three. That one off the mark. It's no good. to shoot for Miami. Gets a look. Can't hit. Knocks it down from mid-range. Everybody in the building, including myself, thought that pass was going somewhere else. Fool me once? Okay. But well, you're definitely not fooling me twice. Shot from the lane, won't go. Joseph with it, down three. Oladipo. 
Screen coming. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Kylo Quinn trying to cash in on the three-point play. A career 74% free throw shooter. Hits the free throw. Miami with the basketball. To Waiters. Here's a chance from long range. It's no good. Shots not. I mean, with so much talk these days about three-point shooting and the spacing on the court and having versatile athletic wings, sometimes when you have a dominant big man, you keep giving him the ball. You let him be that anomaly. Looks like some substitutions are coming on in. Number 33. Jay, sum it up. Why was Victor Oladipo the most improved last year? Because he was no longer Robin. Victor Oladipo has become Batman, and he's owning the responsibility of becoming Batman. And this is going to be a great year for him because he attacks the game the same way Russell Westbrook does. That short stint at OKC taught Victor Oladipo how to compete 24-7. He's silly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. To Whiteside. Knock loose. Pacers come up with it. We're going to see a team take the lead here. Young to Collison. Nice finish at the rim. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. Pacers control. Evans to Turner. Oh, Miles Turner. He's finally on the board. Makes his first shot. You feel that? I see the confidence building. We get a whistle and a timeout here for Miami as they'll talk things over here in the second quarter. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. Knock loose. Pacers have it. He'd come up with it. 
When it's a tight game, those missed opportunities on the road make it tough. And scores on a nifty dance to the basket. It's not a travel if it looks pretty. Indiana with the basketball. Oh, the Heat right there to take it away. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. Fights through traffic to slam it down. It's so amazing when you get a chance to see a player in his own space. It's almost as if the defense doesn't exist. He can go left, he can go right, he can attack. He's playing on that court by himself. To Turner. James Johnson sends it away. Oh, Miles Turner. He's two for two now. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. on the step back. Hey, get you from point A to point B. Deep three at the buzzer. That's it. First half has come to an end with the Heat in front. It's Jalen Rose, and I've got your EA Sports Halftime Report. The Heat are up after two quarters, and these guys have every reason to feel good about how they scored effectively in that opening half. Great offensive display. Have a look at the leading scores for the Miami Heat. The Pacers were unable to find an offensive flow in the opening half. And someone needs to step up offensively if they plan to win this game. Not a single player has gotten in the double digits yet. Have a look at the leading scores for the Indiana Pacers. Game track. Points in the paint. The Indiana Pacers were non-existent in the paint defensively through the first two quarters. You can't give up easy points to those interior points in the opening quarter. Player of the half. I like this choice because he really put on a show in the opening half. There's a reason he's a fan favorite. makes it to the NBA is a great athlete. But even the best players have off nights. Today has just been one of those nights for this guy. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. I'm sending it back to Ed and Jay to bring you the rest of the game. Jay, 44 wins for the Heat last year. For the most part, that core is in place once again. And when I think about the core, Ed, I think about upper management. I think about Pat Riley. I think about Eric Spolstra. I think about Mickey Harrison, the consummate professionals associated with this basketball team. The year before, they did not make the playoffs. Oladipo to Collison. Off the mark. He's made those before, but that was well defended. Dragic with it. His guys lead here early stages third quarter. Knocked loose. Pacers come up with it. Collison into the front court. The deficit is six. Here comes the screen. Collison to Turner. 
Oh, Miles Turner. Very efficient and making an impact. He's three for three. It's so difficult to block a guy like that with that kind of athleticism and length. Your timing almost has to be perfect, but pretty much there's no stopping him when he's around the rim. The screen sets him up for two. I love stories like Josh Richardson's. A mid-second round pick in the 2015 draft, and he had to scrape and claw every inch of the court to make the team. Now, two years later, he finds himself in a starting role on the playoff team. That's called the American dream. And you can expect that same dog mentality in this game tonight. Dragic to Whiteside. No good and no foul. Yo, big kudos to the defender. It seems like the mere presence of him in the paint was enough to throw off the concentration of the guy trying to drop the layup in. Oladipo, tight so far. Knocked loose. That'll get out off one of the Pacers. Time for some new personnel into the game. Richardson. Down to five. Down to four to shoot. Wait. That's not his range. It's no good. Into the front court comes Collison. Now down six. To Turner. Oh, Miles Turner. That's how it's done. He's four for four in the game. Ed, I remember this in so much detail. I was watching the NBA pre-draft camp, and I saw Miles Turner run, and myself and all the scouts, everybody was like, whoa, wait a second. What is that? But I give the Pacers a lot of credit. They had a trainer that worked with his gait, and now that's exactly who he is, a big that can run down, block shots, and be active on the perimeter defensively. Wade. Driving right to the basket. To Whiteside. Can't connect from in close. Pacers with the possession. Takes stock of the floor. Young to Collison. Down to five on the 24. Collison. Darren Collison. Tough shooting. Only two for six after that make. No doubt about where that one was headed. Now the Heat going to use a timeout as they'll make sure they're aligned here in a two-point ball game. You know, Ed, one of the concerning things for me is that you had the franchise future of this organization and Hassan Whiteside, who almost became last season a franchise headache, and how this team dealt with the drama said a lot about the character of who they are. Jay, it's crazy. You go back a couple of years ago when the cap expanded, teams invested in players they felt could be cornerstones for their respective franchises. Hassan Whiteside was the guy in Miami, but midway through last season, Eric Spolster saw more opportunities for a guy like Bam Adebayo and to go small with lineups around Kelly Olynyk. Changes coming from both sides right now. To Waiters. On the pass, stolen by Indiana. Evans. On the heat right there to take it away. He's fouled. A couple of free throws coming up, Jay. I'm watching the coach's reaction right now, and I'll tell you, he's not going to be happy about that. The game comes down to the micro details. That wasn't a part of the plan right there. Nope. First one does not go.
knocks down the second after missing the first. It's Indiana basketball. Shot from the lane won't go. And one of the most underrated things in this game is quick lateral speed. Good job by utilizing that speed and taking away the lane. Dwayne Wade. Here comes the screen. Shut up, shut up. From the outside, no good. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. Baseline drive and scores. There you go. I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely. I got him. I got him. Here we go. That misses with two seconds to go. Three quarters down. The fourth quarter coming up. The Heat with the lead. So the Pacers with the basketball to start the fourth quarter. We've got a one-possession game going on. This has the look of a race that's going down to the wire. And it looked that way from the very beginning, but this is where the coaches and the best players on the floor really earn their money. Down the stretch, it's game time. Oh, Miles Turner. He's now five for six. It just seems like nobody can stop him but him. Once he's found his offensive swag, that boy's deadly. Waiters to Dragic. Deep two there, won't go. Collison, head of the front court. Leads one to Evans. Here comes the screen. Nothing going here on that drive. Evans to Young. Shot clock coming down to four. Down to three to Evans. Let's it fly from long range. Tyreek Evans, when he to you, doesn't mean that they actually hear you at the end of the game when players get tired they listen to what the assignment was but they didn't hear what it was Dragic to waiters here comes the screen waiters Dragic man he's shifty tough defensive assignment go on Dragic with the answer it's easy to get lost in the chaos of the game down the stretch but great awareness by the shooter to get those toes right behind the three-point line. Right, right, right. Here comes the screen. To Young. Gets it in the right corner. Short jumper off the mark. Drogic into the front court. His guys now trailing by a point. Now the Pacers go to use a timeout. That's their first. Leaves them with one remaining the rest of the way. You're going to see the best players make in-game adjustments on the fly. The intellect of some of these superstars is off the charts. Your ability to adapt and move forward as quickly as possible in the most efficient manner will determine whether you win this game or not. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. Number four, Victor Evans. Pass stolen by Miami. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in a playoff game, it will. Won't go down. Defenders lucky he wasn't called. Gets it to go, and the foul. 
And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Josh Richardson at the line for a chance at a three-point play. For his career, 78% at the line. The free throw, good. Caps off the three-point play. The lead is four. Pacers control. Pays the floor. Nothing going here on that drive. Darren Collison. Oh, three for eight. He's got to do better. That might have been a little bit easier than expected there, considering the score. Dragic with the basketball. Leads a bucket. To Whiteside. Oh, big finish at the rim. The passing has been great, but the movement without the ball has been even better. Seeing a play before it happens is a skill set a lot of people don't talk about. But a great pass combined with great movement? <laughs> Good luck with that. Drogic with it. Leads four. That's no good. White side. by the Pacers. Young to Evans. Short jumper won't go down. It's so important to instill confidence in your best player. I know he missed a shot earlier, but that doesn't mean that you can't run the same exact play and let him prove he's a player he thinks he is and we all know he is. Young to Oladipo. Nothing going here on that drive. The shot almost. To Whiteside. Not that time. Into the front court comes Collison. His guys trail now by four to Young. Oladipo gets it in the left corner. The drive right to the basket. Short jumper won't fall. Whistle blown in the eyes of the ref. Intentional. Okay, now look over to the sideline and see what the staff is trying to draw up on the next play. That's good clock management thus far. And they'll get the intentional foul here with 17 seconds to go. Some players are built to handle these moments. On one end, you just sparked your team. And at the same time, you also got under your opponent's skin. Just want to manage through the emotions here and not take it too far. And he makes them both. Now a whistle, and Indiana is going to use a timeout. They'll need a quick shot, and then likely a quick foul in what is now a two-possession game.
just inside the arc at the buzzer. The Heat with the victory as they take care of business at home. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. As we say... Here we go with the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Heat put together a nice win here today. And the defensive intensity made all of the difference. They were committed to staying aggressive, forcing turnovers, and being disruptive on their way to victory. The Pacers just couldn't get within striking distance toward the end of the game. I'm sure they can't help but feel frustrated with the result, but they can't let that feeling linger. Sooner than later, they need to start thinking about the next matchup. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Indiana Pacers. Game stats. Player of the game. The highlight says it all. He's your player of the game. makes it to the NBA is a great athlete. But even the best players have their off nights. Today was just one of those days for this guy. These are the top three plays of the game. Number two. Number one. See y'all next time. Jalen Rose, signing out.